During the Permian period, before the reign of the reptiles, the dominant animals on Earth were synapsids, the clade that includes modern mammals. While true mammals had yet to evolve, by the late Permian, some synapsids, the therapsids, were already very mammal-like. One of the most successful and bizarre therapsid lineages were the herbivorous Dicynodonts. Ranging from small burrowers like Dyncodon to much larger species such as Stalluckeri, the Dicynodonts had beaks with only two tusks for teeth. This video is about a particular species of Dicynodont named Bulbasaurus. If its name sounds familiar, it is probably because its name is very similar to the Pokemon Bulbasaur. While the story behind Bulbasaurus's name is interesting, the same is also true of the animal itself. Its fossils were found in the Kauru supergroup in South Africa. The assembled zone they are found in, the Tropidostomia assembled zone, was formed during the Wachupengian stage of the late Permian, which was about 259 to 254 million years ago. Bulbasaurus is known almost entirely from skulls. This is common for animals in the Tropidostomia assembled zone, which seem to have been exposed and disarticulated long before they were buried by floodwaters. Based on comparisons with its relatives, Bulbasaurus is estimated to have only been about 60 centimeters long. While smaller than most of the more familiar Triassic Dicynodonts, the majority of the large Permian Dicynodonts wouldn't evolve until the following Chansingian stage. Though Bulbasaurus may have been small, its tusks were incredibly large for a Dicynodont. They had a diameter of 2 centimeters on a 14 centimeter long skull. Bulbasaurus's beak was also more hook-like than the majority of other Dicynodonts. Bulbasaurus's most notable feature was its very large, almost continuous, nasal bosses. These are thought to have been used to attract mates. Unlike the bosses of the dinosaur Pachyrhinosaurus, which may have been used for ritualistic combat between rivals and even defense from predators, Bulbasaurus's bosses were likely purely for show. Bulbasaurus belonged to the Dicynodont clade Gaikidae. Like Bulbasaurus, the other Gaikids had nasal bosses, though they also had them on their prefrontal bones. The other known Gaikids lived later in the Permian. As one would expect, Bulbasaurus is not just the oldest known Gaikid, but it is also one of the most basal members of the clade. Some other Gaikids, such as Ayua Cephalodon, were much larger than Bulbasaurus. However, adult Bulbasaurus specimens still possessed many traits only present in other adult Gaikids, but absent in juveniles of equal size to Bulbasaurus. This shows the Gaikids evolved their defining traits first, then evolved larger body size. This is in contrast to clays like the Tyrannosaurids, where smaller species like Gorgosaurus were similar to the juveniles of larger species like Tyrannosaurus rex. Of course, there is a question of why Bulbasaurus has a name so similar to a Pokemon. The Pokemon in question, Bulbasaur, is one of the more well-known ones, being one of the three starting Pokemon in the first Pokemon game, in addition to a number of other appearances in Pokemon media. Officially, Bulbasaurus is not named after Bulbasaur. The genus name, Bulblizzard, is in reference to its bosses, which were Bulbius even by the standards of Gaikidae. Its species name, Phyloxeron means leaf razor, in reference to its leaf cutting beak. However, Dr. Christian Kammerer, one of the scientists who named Bulbasaurus, has said similarities between this species and certain other squat, tusk quadrupeds may not be entirely coincidental. The fact that Razor Leaf is the name of one of the moves Bulbasaur has in the Pokemon video game really makes it hard to think it wasn't a factor. Still, the official reasons for the name remain quite appropriate for a Gaika Dicynodont, so it doesn't seem like a forced attempt to make a pop culture reference unlike the infamous dinosaur Thanos or the trilobite Han Solo. The comparison to Bulbasaur is also quite fitting. While Bulbasaur doesn't have a beak or tail, and Bulbasaurus didn't have plants growing out of its back, they were otherwise fairly similar. 
Bulbasaurus and Bulbasaur were about the same size. Finally, while Pokemon evolution is more like metamorphosis than actual evolution, Bulbasaur evolves into the larger Ivysaur and Venusaur. The Gaikids after Bulbasaur also grew much larger. Overall, the name fits pretty well, both for its official reasons and in reference to the Pokemon. Likewise, its importance extends far beyond its name, as it both had unusually large tusks and has provided new details on the evolution of Gaikidae. Thank you for watching, and a thank you to Sawhack Duggan for suggesting the topic of this video. Sorry it took so long to make it. I hope both you and everyone else enjoyed it. Also, a thank you to Flip Stug for adding the zooming in and zooming out in this video. Feedback on this would be appreciated. Finally, a thank you to all of you who have helped this channel grow to over 6,500 subscribers. If you liked this video, be sure to check out Noxovea Wild, a new YouTube channel which also makes videos about prehistory and biology. His most recent video is about the extinct Madagascar horned crocodile, Voe Robustus. I previously made a video about it, so if you enjoyed it and want to learn more, be sure to check his out.